So hey everyone, today I'll be doing the 6.1 quiz uh, for chemistry. <coughs> I'll probably do 6.2 later today as well, if not tomorrow. Okay, question one. Uh, calculate the concentration of hydrogen ions in a 0 0.060 molar aqueous solution of KOH at 25 degrees Celsius. Constant of water is this number at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so uh, to calculate the concentration of uh, hydrogen ions in, a, this is a base. Potassium uh, hydroxide is a base. So we're going to find the concentration of hydroxide ions. So KOH dissolves into K plus plus OH minus. Okay. Uh, now, since you don't have any subscripts on the OH minus, so it's not like in brackets to anything, uh, the concentration of this, of potassium hydroxide, can equal the concentration of the hydroxide ion. So 0 0.060 here, or just write it here, you can write it forever. 0 0.06 uh, is also equal to the, cal uh, the potassium, and it's going to be equal to the hydroxide. So here is also 0 0.06 as well. So now, uh, you should know that the concentration of hydrogen ions is uh, 10 to the negative 14 or the constant of water over the concentration of hydrogen or hydroxide, sorry. And uh, if you want to find the concentration of hydroxide, it's the other way around. You put uh, hydroxide here and you put hydrogen there. Okay, so now do we look for it. Uh, so H plus equal to uh, 10 to the negative 14 over uh, 0 0.06 or 0 0.060 equals to now we do it on a calculator um, 10 to the negative 14 over 0 0.06 you get 1.6 uh, repeating times 10 to the power of negative 13. You want to put it in two significant figures in scientific notation. So 1.7 times 10 to the power of negative 13. And this is your answer. Okay. Question 2. Uh, choose the correct answer to complete the sentences below. A substance that dissolves partially, uh, that dissolves and partially dissociates to ions is called a weak electrolyte. Uh, <clears throat> now, for electrolytes, I'll label them E. You have a strong, I'll just uh, strong and weak. Weak electrolytes, this is the definition. This whole thing. Uh, but a strong electrolyte completely dissociates so completely disassociates um and it also gives ions. It's this is the definition of a strong electrolyte. The weak electrolytes is now HCl and NaOH are examples of strong electrolytes. This you memorize. There's uh, your teacher should have given you the list of electrolytes. I'll try to put uh, a link in the description to like a notes, uh, a series of notes that might have it. I probably won't find some. I have some, but it's in PDF form. It's not in a. I'll add it to the drive if I have time. Okay. Question three. Uh. KOH dissolves in water as follows. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> a way to know if it's one arrow here, if it's one arrow, it's a, it's not an irreversible, it's an irreversible reaction. So it dissolves completely, it dissociates completely. So making this a strong reaction. If they gave you the symbol for equilibrium or reversible reaction, which is this, this means that it's a weak acid, weak base, weak electrolyte, whatever. It's weak for all cases. Okay. Uh, so Calculate the concentration of OH and H plus OH. Um, okay, so uh, 0 0.030 again, no coefficient or no subscripts for the OH, so uh, concentration of OH minus is equal to 0 0.030 or 0 0.03 because they wanted scientific notation. So 
uh, for scientific notation, I have a tip for you guys. Uh, since this entire quiz, uh, basically they want scientific notation to two significant figures. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press shift. This works on most caster calculators, by the way. Shift mode. Uh, you press seven for psi, and then two six. So then two. Okay. So now you're gonna wanna write zero point zero three. You're gonna get a change it to SD. You're gonna get this number three point zero times ten to the power of negative two. But uh, this is wrong. This this should be scientific notation. They in the exam they won't accept it. Don't write it like this. Okay. So now we're gonna do ten to the negative fourteen over our answer. Three point three times ten to the power of negative thirteen, and that's our answer. Okay. So question four. Barium hydroxide is a strong base that dissolves completely in water. Uh, 2.5 grams of barium hydroxide is dissolved in 100 milliliters of solution. There's your given, but this is this was here. I said dissolves. Okay. Uh, okay. To calculate the concentration of barium hydroxide, so BaOH, BaOH2 is uh, again crisscross to get uh, your ion charges, so Ba2 plus. Plus or H minus. Now, keep in mind this is two, right? This is this means that there's two hydroxide molecules. So to balance, you're gonna have two here. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this means that the concentration of this is half the concentration of this, or the concentration of hydroxide is two times the concentration of barium hydroxide. Let me just express it mathematically, Yani. Let uh, the concentration be x. Here, this is going to be 2x. Okay. So, now that we know that, to find the concentration, uh, you apply the formula. N goes to Cv. C is the concentration, V is the volume, and N is the most. Now, to find the moles, uh, mass over molar mass, so 2.5 over uh, 172 now for this one you're gonna get um, <clears throat> 0 0.015 or 0 0.014 this uh, scientific notation you round up uh, you're gonna get 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 2 or just take it as uh, 0 0.015 that's fine okay so now this is our n uh, v is uh, 100 milliliters or 0 0.1 liters or 0 0.1 decimeters cube depending on preference Again, decimeters cubed uh, is the same as liters, and milliliters is the same as centimeters cubed. Okay. Um, now that we have this, uh, C is going to equal N over V. So, C equals uh, 0 0.015 over uh, 0 0.1. Do this, you will get... So uh, divide by 0 0.1, 1.45 or 1.5. So uh, <coughs> no, it's sorry, 0 0.1445, 1.45. So this is gonna be 0 0.15, and this is your answer. So just put it here. Okay. So did you know that this is 0 0.15? So this is going to be zero. The barium is going to be zero point one five, and this is going to be zero point three. Okay, again, double the concentration is double. So let me just erase this. Just we keep our uh, original, uh, our original uh, dissociation reaction. So you can see zero point thirty moles or molars. Now here, this says uh, give your answer in scientific notation to two significant figures. They didn't give it to two significant figures here. Again, I have no idea why. This is probably wrong. Okay, uh, so the concentration of H plus now, it's going to be, uh, I explained this, 10 to the negative 14 over your concentration, which is 0 0.3 equals 2, so uh, uh, 10 to the negative 14 over 0 0.3. Which is 3.333, 3, 3, uh, so 3.3 repeating, just take it as 3.3 times 10 to the power of negative 14, and that's your final answer. Okay. Question 5. Uh, <clears throat> hydrogen sulfate 
is a strong asset that dissociates completely in water. So let's write the dissociation reaction. Always for these questions, write the dissociation reaction. H2SO4 associates, uh, so H plus, press cross to get your ions again, uh, SO4 minus. Again, uh, there's two here, so you put two here. And uh, this concentration is double the concentration of hydrogen sulfate. Okay. So to find, they give us the moles and they give us the volume. So C equals N over V, so 0 0.075, 0 0.0075 over 0 0.250 or 0 0.25. Which gives you, what's the, <clears throat> 0 0.0075 over 0 0.25 or 0 0.250. 0 0.03, which is uh, the answer of hydrogen sulfate. So 0 0.0030 significance figures. Okay, now notice here again scientific notation. They didn't put it. So I don't just in the exam write uh, write it scientific notation. They should accept it. It's fine. Um. Okay. So this means that the concentration of this is going to be 0 0.0060. And the rest of this, so this is going to be for this one and this one. Okay. As you can see, it's open 0 0.060. Uh, so I wrote. <coughs> okay. My bad. I think I. Yeah, no, ignore the second zero here. This is wrong. This is uh, 0 0.060, not 0 0.060. My bad. Okay. So now. Uh, to find hydroxide, you do the same thing you did with the hydrogen. Uh, OH, I'll just I'll write it with the concentration, even though I write it with the concentration in the exam. 10 to the negative 14 over the concentration of hydrogen, which is 0 0.06. Which gives you... Zero point zero six. Uh, 1.25. Wait, did I? Oh, wait, no, I bet this is not. This is wrong numbers. Okay. 10 to the negative 14, which is. Oh my god, I made another mistake. 0 0.06. There we go. Okay, there we go. We got the right answer. Alhamdulillah. Ya Rab. Uh, 1.7 times 10 to the power negative 13. Again, scientific notation. You round up. That's why you got the your number. Okay. Um, I'm only going to do three of these like written because uh, I've done, I think there's actually two more. There's only one more and then after it's just calculation. So I got, I got bored. Okay. Yeah. After th this should be the last one. That actually has proper calculation. So NaOH. Dissolves to an A plus plus O H minus again no uh, no balancing of D. Okay, so uh zero point zero five. So it's gonna be zero point zero five as well. Don't concern yourself with any. I oh, see here now they write it to scientific notation. Mashallah alayhum. Um. I, whatever, like honestly, safer bet, write it in scientific notation. They asked you to. Okay, now to find hydrogen, uh, 10 to the negative 14 over 0 0.05. So, over 0 0.05. You got 2 times 10 to the power of negative 18. Okay, okay, so question 7 uh, 0 0.80 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in 100 milliliters of water. Calculate. Okay, uh, NaOH dissolves to Na. Plus. That's an F N A plus plus O H minus. Okay. Uh zero point uh, to for C equals N V to find the uh, or C equals N over V, sorry. Uh to find the concentration. Uh you to find the mole zero point eighty divided by the sum of all of these, which should be twenty three plus sixteen plus one. Forty. It's forty. Okay. Uh, 0 0.80 divided by 40, do it on a calculator, let me do it on a calculator, 0 0.80 divided by 40 is uh, 0 0.02, 0 0.02 
over the volume which is 100 milliliters so 0 0.1 divide it you should get uh you will get 0 0.2 or 2 times 10 to the power of negative 1 okay so uh again the concentration of this of any OH is equal to the concentration of OH minus because there's no balance needed there's no multiplying there's no subscripts or coefficients whatever uh so 0 0.2 so this is your answer now 10 to the negative 14 divided by 2.0 times 10 to the power of negative 1 will give you 5.0 times 10 to the power of negative 14 and that's your answer for h plus okay moving on let me just leave everything question 8 uh, I'm mean, fill in the blank of an electrolyte substance that dissolves in water to give solutions containing ions. Yeah, uh, I think I explained it when I gave that summary. Uh, an electrolyte, a substance that dissolves uh, that dissolves in water to give ions, and there's gonna be and I talked about strong and weak electrolytes. Uh, this dissociates. This 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 doesn't. Uh, this includes both weak and strong electrolytes. This is just the general definition of electrolytes. Question nine: Substances like sodium hydroxide, or uh, whose aqueous solution strongly conduct electricity, are strong electrolytes. Okay. Uh, the substances, the strong, uh, the strong ones, the strong electrolytes and the weak electrolytes. You memorize them. There's no other way of knowing them. Uh, okay. So, uh, and the second part of it: whose aqueous solution strongly conduct. You see, strong, it's strong electrolytes. You see, weak, it's weak electrolytes. Ethanoic acid, you memorize it. Okay. Uh, fill in the blank water at 25 degrees Celsius has the constant of water which tends to turn to the negative 14 Which is given in literally every calculation question given kw is this uh, Okay And now uh, OH minus equal to H plus this is at 25 degrees Celsius just memorize this uh, They're both equal to this and if you multiply them together uh, Which is essentially 1 times 10 to the power of negative 7 squared you're gonna get 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14 Okay. Uh, question eleven. This is basically Le Chatelier's principle, but without the equilibrium. Uh, when we increase the temperature of the system, it will absorb energy, and the value of Kw will increase. Now you see it's uh, endo, and when you increase temperature, it shifts in the endo direction. This is the endo direction. Like it shifts to the direction that is uh, that has endo. Okay. So the concentration of the Kw will increase because uh, H plus and OH minus increase the con their concentrations increase. Okay. Question twelve. Uh, OH minus and H plus uh, are present in all of these solutions. This is true. Uh, if we add an AOH uh, to pure water, the concentration of OH minus will be greater than the concentration of H plus. Akid because you have OH here, you have hydroxide. And A, don't worry about it. Ignore that. That that's not related to anything. Okay. Question fourteen. Uh, fill in the blank for all your questions. By the way, this question isn't clear at all. Like this does the, like this should be accepted as a correct answer. They've been giving it for the past eight questions. Uh, but this is what they want. So I'm not sure. Like uh, to be honest, I see what they mean because uh, if this would be the answer, it would be at 25 degrees Celsius. At 25 degrees Celsius. Whatever. Uh, <clears throat> just memorize this part. And you should be good. Yeah, but good luck, guys. Uh, I'll make 6.2 either today or tomorrow. Have fun studying, I guess.